Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back again to a new lesson in our English lessons. And really, I hope that you will enjoy it. Today, I have an exercise. I have some idioms, English idioms and expression. They are common. You can use it in your daily life situations. I have the idioms here and I have the meanings of these idioms, but we want to match the idiom with its suitable and correct meaning. Let's start it very fast. The first idiom, hit the sack. I want to hit the sack. I am tired. I want to hit the sack. Means what? Of course, as you said. Yes, go to sleep. I want to hit the sack. Or they hit the sack. Means that they will go to sleep. So this is the first one. Hit the sack means go to sleep. Thanks. Number two, pull his leg. Pull his leg. I pulled his leg. Means what? Or I pulled her leg. I pulled their legs. Something like that. Okay. If you found someone who is so funny, this person did this a lot and do this a lot. Pulled his leg means joke with someone because he is funny. Okay. So this person pulled Ahmed's leg means that he Yes, excellent. Joked with this person. So, pull his leg means joke with him or with her, with anyone. Number three, under the weather. I am under the weather. Means that I am, yes, I am ill. I am sick. I am under the weather. I want to see my doctor. I will go to the hospital because I am under the weather. I'm sick. Of course, under the weather means Sick. Number four, I think it's common, it's in Arabic and it's a, a proverb in Chinese and proverb in Japanese language. I think it's so common. Add insult to injury. Add insult to injury means what? Make people more comfortable to make a bad situation. Of course, of course, to make a bad situation. I can give you an example. Someone stole someone's bag, okay? And after two days, he bought a new bag, but also it was stolen. So the second thief, he added insult to injury, means that he made the situation worse. He made the situation worse. Another example, if you are speaking with someone in a friendly way and you say to him, you are uh, lazy, he said, of course, I will be active. I will try to change my personality. And after that, you say, and you are blah, blah, blah. You said a bad word. You are stupid, something like that. Or you are lazy and you are rude. So. You added insult to injury. You made the situation worse. You made the situation worse. The last one, break the ice. I think it's so common, break the ice. When you are on the train or in an airplane or on a bus and you are sitting next to a stranger and the journey is so long and you want to pray the eyes. You want to speak with this person step by step. You want to make this person more comfortable to speak with you. So you are going to break the eyes. And in English teaching, you have ice breakers. Something you can do or some activities you can do at the beginning of the class. Ice breakers or break the ice. I want to break the ice. This is the first time for me to teach this class. So at the beginning, I will introduce myself and I want them to introduce themselves to break the ice, to break the ice, to make these people 
more comfortable and familiar with me. So, these are the five idioms for today, and I hope that you will enjoy it so much. And really, this is my advice for every one of you. If you want to remember this expression or these idioms, you must practice them in your real life situation. Practice makes perfect. Don't forget this statement. Thank you for watching and listening. I'm waiting for you in another English lesson. Bye-bye for now. Bye.